Okay, so the software is called Perfect Automation. Install and run the software. This is what your interface is basically looking like. The most important aspect of getting the software to run is to correctly record your macro. Um, so here's basically your recording interface. Very important. If you want the macro to run automatically, i.e. without any manual prompts, you need to select executable file silent. So the recorded macro is going to be an executable file of the silent variety and this will run automatically, fully automated. We're going to call it test vox because that's what we're going to be doing today, setting up a vox account. That's what we're going to be calling it. That's the only settings you really need to look at. Um, output folder I've chosen um, on my D drive, I've created a, a folder called automation and I've uh, chosen um, that to be my output folder so I know where it is rather than go digging around in the C in the C drive app data users blah 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 so that's where it's gonna save to by default so let's go ahead and record now there's the countdown it's gonna start recording in about one or two seconds so basically what we're doing now is we are the, the program is going to record our key presses and our keyboard presses and uh, mouse mouse uh, movement we basically are going to enter our ISP details into our browser, into our router. Sorry. So we go to the IP address on our home network, which happens to be 192.168.1.1 in my case. I'll enter my uh, password, admin and password, to get into my router settings, as you normally do. And uh, you run through your setup here. Uh, so basically, here I'm going to enter whatever my, my, my uh, username details are, followed by password, confirm password. Obviously on, on your router it's going to be different. On my router that's what the interface looks like. So once I'm happy I've entered all my details, I can basically stop recording. So I'll close that window. Don't have to, and st as you stop recording, that's where the macro will stop running. So I'm going to stop recording. There we go. So the macro has been done. Would you like to run it now? No, we're not going to run it now. Now I'll show you how to set that up as a schedule. So we go to scheduler. Very simple. Right click, new, and then here, all right, let's call it test vox. That's what we're going to name the schedule. Okay, and I'm going to let it run just one. Uh, firstly, okay, we have the file, the file name. We find the file here, test vox. This is in my, uh, my D drive in the automation folder. Test box, that's what I called the, um, the file that we just created, the recording that we just created. So I'm going to schedule it to run just once. I'm going to let it run in quite soon from now, like within the next, yeah, let's just make that uh, 19 minutes past 8. I'm going to let this run, just to show you how it operates. Basically fully automated. Okay, so I've created the... Uh, Create the next run will be at 19 minutes past 8, which is shortly. I'm not going to close this program, I'm going to minimize it, let it run in the background. Find if you close the program, it tends to not run the schedules. So minimize it, you won't appear anywhere on the taskbar, it's running in the background. So now basically, we're waiting for 8 19, and that is when the macro should automatically kick in and basically run as it was recorded and do what I intended it to do which is basically log into a different ISP so there you go you can see the bottom right there on the taskbar play macro silent it started doing its thing I'm not touching anything Any, everything is completely automated now I'm nowhere near the keyboard I'm nowhere near the computer I'm in bed sleeping now and this this app is basically running on its own so uh, let's see what it does next it should basically hit start button and start running. Yeah, there it goes. As it was recorded, so it is playing out now. And that basically, in a nutshell, is how the software works. Very effective. Uh, it works very well. Uh, pretty happy with it. Of course, if you start moving things around, if you start moving icons around, or if you move your mouse now, um, that would stuff up the whole uh, process. So very important that you just leave everything alone, let it run, let it operate, um, because basically really what it is doing is recording key presses 
and mouse movements as you had recorded them. If you've moved icons around, or if you've uh, resized your Chrome window, whatever the case is, then it's going to play back, and it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be in sync. So it's not going to do what you want it to do. But that's how it operates in a nutshell. Very efficient, very effective, very worthwhile. Give it a bash.